What's up CASA? My name is Michael Carms and I'm one of your hosts for today's broadcast. Today we're going to be talking about a few different things including Spirit Week, Ram Booster meetings, Interact meetings, and more. But first, let's check out this video made by Max Rosalio about his trip to Oregon. Hi Casa, I'm Ian Cotilla Marsh. I'm your other host for today's broadcast. Like Michael said, there are a few different things to talk about. Let's start off with Spirit Week. For those of you who don't already know, Spirit Week is usually something we do at Casa to have a little bit of fun, and you guessed it, show our school spirit. This year, it starts today and goes until Friday with a different theme each day. You'll also have a chance to win prizes such as a custom Hydro Flask, custom van shoes, or a t-shirt. You can find more information and specific details on Spirit Week in the bulletin that was sent out to everybody on Saturday, October 11th. And now for a short interview of our one and only Mr. Ryan Sherrill. Hey there, I'm Ryan Sherrill, everybody's favorite campus monitor. Actually, it's been the entire spectrum from, you know, it's a, a very different change, unexpected. Um, it's been hard for a lot and it's been just business as usual for others. Um, but it's all different and I think all of the kids are learning how to adapt to this little by little. Every day they're getting better at uh, accomplishing tiny goals. It's been a big new world, and um, but for the most part, I think uh, the kids are showing bravery. I think the kids are showing resilience. Um, I think that they're showing that uh, no matter what gets thrown at them, they have the ability to uh, rise above this and, and find a way to find success. Uh, definitely the kids, definitely the faces. Um, I, I miss, you know, spending a, a lot of my time trying to make someone smile, trying to make them laugh, just trying to be, to have fun as we're all trying to get through this, you know, school year. Um, I, miss, I miss the kids. That's probably the most. Well, um, so far, I think the, the best advice is, you, uh, kids are starting to learn what works, how, how to accomplish the goals of the day. Um, I, th I think everybody's no longer shocked by all the newness of this. Uh, my advice is believe in yourself. Know that we're all in this together and that um, you know, if, you, if you need help or if you're uh, struggling, don't be afraid to ask for help. <sighs> Casa isn't Casa without Mr. Cheryl. I agree, Michael. Oh, hey, what should I do with these textbooks that I don't need anymore? I'm glad you asked, Mia. Returns and checkouts are going to be happening today and tomorrow from 11.20 to 12.20, as well as on Wednesday from 11 to 1. If you can't make those times, make sure you email Miss Cloth. Her email is right here. Oh, and what was it you were saying about the RAM Booster and Interact meetings? Those meetings are going to take place over Zoom 
with the RAM Booster meeting at 7 p.m. on October 14th and the Interact meeting from 12.30 to 1 on October 21st. Got it. By the way, CASA students, there's also a virtual French meeting on October 14th at 1 p.m., as well as a parent information Zoom meeting for girls basketball on October 12th at 6.30 p.m. If you need a refresher on these times, feel free to rewind the video and write them down, or look at the bulletin that was sent out to you on Sunday, October 11th. Also, we have a new sophomore class president. Watch this video made by Kyler Coburn to learn more about what she plans on doing and how she hopes to help CASA become a better place. Hey CASA, it's Kyler Coburn, and as you guys all know, that voting week was last week. Your, all the votes are in, and your new sophomore class president is McKenna Pacey. McKenna Pacey participates in cheer and track. McKenna, can you tell us what your plans are for the school, and what got you to where you are today? Hi everyone, I'm McKenna Pacey. I'm a sophomore class president this year. Uh, my plans for the year are probably just to get things more connected with all of us since we're so far apart from each other. I'm going to try and have uh, some get-togethers and just school gatherings so that people can be closer together, like fundraisers, um, game nights, etc. And I'm really pushing for that connection because I know we're all missing it right now. Um, the way I got here was probably just getting connected i like to just be involved in a lot of things with our community and i just like to be in the loop so i try to talk to as many people as i can that's all bye and that's all we have for today casa thanks for watching my name is kyler coburn and i'll catch you later Hey CASA, did you know that there's some changes to the attendance requirements? Students are still strongly encouraged to attend the synchronous Zoom meetings, but if you really can't make it, then you can just do the classwork from Google Classroom for the day. That being said, I personally would still email your teacher and make sure they know what's going on to avoid any confusion. If you still can't make it to the Google Classroom, then your parents are required to report your absence. However, the big change is that teachers have until the following day to reconcile attendance for the previous day. This basically means if your teacher marks you absent on accident, you have more time to contact them and get it corrected. Let's watch another video before sending it over to Miyakota. This one is how to prepare for guests. When you're going to have guests over at your house, always make sure to tidy up your bathroom. As well as making sure to clean up the rest of your house. Maybe even go as far as to give your pets a little bit of a makeover to impress the visitors. Hopefully we'll be able to apply that information soon. Until then, CASA is giving out free hot meals this week to everybody under the age of 18. Let's watch one last video. One that's a little bit spookier than others. Alright CASA, that about wraps it up for today. Make sure you double check the bulletin that was sent to you if you need more details about the things we discussed today. Until then, I'm Mia Coda. I'm Michael. And we'll, and see, we'll see you, you next week. week. Bye, Bye CASA. Casa.